but technically since I crashed on the couch in this garage right here a uh, couple few nights a week um, that is my main residence right now uh, access point through that gate that's the yard and those couches if you can see it you can zoom in on it uh, that's where I sometimes rest my head or jerk off nah I don't nah you know joke jokes 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 funny haha -ha. but uh, it's a pretty big complex Whoop. You know I'm searching for some snipes Cause cigarettes are priced so high Uh oh, it's the fuzz There's an ambulance or something Them sirens never mean something good happened Always means something bad Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Hello. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Alright, I'll show y'all where I'm at. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yo, if anyone wants to get me up out of this spot, send me some PayPal donations. You know what I'm saying? I actually don't, because someone stole my shit and I don't even have my fucking card. But we can work something out. like a little over there yonder you know right there you know like where you can kind of like if you go by you kind of don't even really see anything Woo! shit i'm high as hell <laughs> on this bike like the seat's too high russell stover oh shit Oh, we got to look at the tags. Someone got to tag the dust. You tag the dust. You do not smoke the dust. Hold on. Was that cocaine? Hold on. Let's see what these people play. All right. This man is gay. Martin. So Martin's gay forever. Uh, somebody loves Jack Martin forever. I guess it's a man because Jack Martin is gay. I mean, the dust does not lie. The dust never lies. All we are now is dust in the wind, you know. So dust cannot lie. It's like biblical scripture or some shit. Alrighty. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Just like riding around in the fucking... You know, I better get the fuck up out of here before security like... Gets their panties in a bunch. Or they might not even give a fuck. Like all I'm doing is riding the back. 
giving the Hollywood Casino free promotion. If the damn government wouldn't have tracked me down, <laughs> chased me down and beat me up and fucking did brain surgery on me to implant tracking chips in my cerebellum, uh, I could have... <laughs> why, 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 because like you do a little bit of party supplies, <clears throat> do people think that the government is like tracking? Like they're not that important, you know? It's either they're fucking, like, digging bugs out of their skin or fucking, like, thinking that the government's tracking them down and it's just like, come the fuck on, dude. Why can't there be goddamn roach in this shit? What the fuck? I want, I want smoke some marijuana. I mean, no, I don't. I forgot. Dearborn County, come on vacation, stay on probation. Which probably ain't coming on vacation. You're probably just coming to this motherfucker to gamble. But there is no marijuana roach cigarettes out here. And that sucks. Look at this green fucking shit. Why can't it be green weed? I forgot how much uh I forgot how much fun riding a bike is. I've had this bike for like a day and a half. Uh kind fellow by the name of uh not Jake, Justin, Justin, J and J. I know it's a J. Thank you, Justin. I hope me being goofy ain't going like ruffle people's feathers. Sometimes I tend to do that. I think it's because they want me to be depressed and like try to kill myself. But instead, I just like kind of laugh shit off and uh, instead of hurting, uh, try to make others not hurt because I sell Percocets. I really don't, I really don't. You know, anything on this serial killer account, you know, it's just entertainment, all fun, laughs and giggles, except when shit gets real. This goddamn casino is the size of the whole fucking town, basically. This town is on a grid pattern, similar to Arnton, Ohio. I actually met a feller from Arnton today. He recognized me. I guess he heard me talking about Arnton. And uh, then he started looking at me. He's like, you from Arnton? Like, goddamn right I'm from Arnton. You from Arnton? That's the Skywalk. And every now and again, I'll get up on there and kind of moonwalk. It, 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 it's, a, it's a grand old time, you know? I gotta get out of the valet lane because I'm holding up traffic. Now look at this fancy ass place. God damn. Woo. Hey, howdy, hey, sir. I have not seen a Lamborghini yet. I have not seen a fucking uh, Testarossa Ferrari. Uh, I have not seen a uh, fucking Bentley. I've not seen a Porsche 911 Carrera. Oh, they can push down on the pedal. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, I ain't valet. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Hold on, hold on. I can't get arrested in Dearborn County, goddammit. I ain't have my booty hole penetrated yet, and I'm not trying to. There we go. No harm, no foul, right? No harm, no foul. So we're gonna go out this way just a little bit, not too much. Look at the pretty shrubbery. Ah, shit. God damn it. My bad. I 
I mean, it's pretty goddamn fancy, huh? All right, I can go in here, I think. This is straight up parking. Two wheels, four wheels, three wheels for sales. It's full of fucking punk ass, narc ass bitches. Gene King, you fat cunt. Ho! Hell yeah, baby. Welcome to the Terror Dome. I am a honky, hung like a donkey, that got castrated, which means my genitalia is uh, non-existent because it got cut off. I did it one night when I was tweaking out. Um, whoa. Hey, yo. <laughs> I had to explain that joke to someone one day. They did not know the definition of uh, castration or what a eunuch was. But I kept on thinking there was a feller behind me. Now there is. Holy shit, it's kind of dirty up in here. Let's see if we can find some fucking weed. There's a cigarette on the ground. Where's that goddamn cigarette? Right there. Hell yeah. Oh, it's all flat and shit. Fuck that. All right. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. How do you get the fuck out? One way. Now, the Bengals lost earlier today. It was a sad, sad, sad incident. There was this fella with the Pittsburgh Steelers jersey being real loud. Kind of reminded me of uh, myself yesterday when Marshall Thunder and Herd whipped ass against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I wasn't, I wasn't being as bad as that fella with the Pittsburgh Steelers jersey, though. I think a bunch of people had a mass, massive exodus because they wanted to lynch that motherfucker for talking so much shit and probably coming up on a little bit of money. This is another garage. I stay in another, uh, the other garage. I ain't gonna say the name of it. And this is just entertainment. Of course I don't crash on a couch in the basement level floor of a garage to a casino. Of course not. Like who in their right mind would even try that? Probably someone who's fucking uh, been called a crackhead since they were 12, you know? Exit, aka the booty hole. Exit only, fellers. Oh shit! Now why can't I just find a little good sack of green falling on the ground? Like, not a big bag. I don't want no one to lose a big bag of bud. But you know, maybe just a little nickel. And by nickel, I mean five dollars worth. I mean, I wouldn't feel right about picking up like no quarter pound or nothing, you know. It might be entrapment. And I, like I said, whoa, shit. 
I ain't trying to get hemmed up nowhere. Whoa. Uh oh. We got merging traffic fellers. I got my lights on. Hell yeah. Now I gotta cut over though. I can't be going on this road too long. See 50, that's like a major highway. Yeah. So I'm going, oh, left lane must turn left, additional parking. I'm not going to venture any further other than this little area right here. So. Hey, howdy, fella. All right, we're going the right way. See the arrows? They make it so simple. No semi parking. It's only permanent parking. Not, not you cannot semi park here. You can permanently park here, but you cannot semi park. It's like when I see them fucking bitches with the big boobs, but they're saggy, so they look like fucking water balloons. I get a semi chub off of it. I don't get full hard, but I get a semi chub. Now, I ain't that beautiful. I gotta say one thing about this house of sin. It is beautiful when you come up on it. They do a lot for this town. I think Arnton, Ohio would be uh, well off to uh, take a lesson from some of these Hoosiers. Hooters, Hoosiers. And uh, once you get you a fucking uh, goddamn uh, a gambling boat. Get you a gambling, get you a gambling boat, buddy. Why the fuck not? People doing it anyway. Might as well bring in that tax revenue so you can stuff your fat pockets, you corrupt assholes. Shout out Brad Spall Jerk. Shout out Sam Cramlett. Fuck yeah. Y'all can't do it, but we can because we're better than you. Ha ha. Fucking assholes. Now we're back to my house. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. See, I don't know if the video did anything like kind of fucked up or nothing, but... If it did, I do apologize. Now. What? This is not a paid endorsement. This is just a uh, twack star shit, riding around on a bicycle, enjoying the view. I almost think I'm not even really done riding yet. Matter of fact, I'm going to get off here and uh, I'm, I'm going to ride my happy ass around a little bit more. But I ain't going in here yet. I don't feel the vibe is ready. I shouldn't go in after like circling the lot like that and shit. I just don't feel right about it for some reason. So... Now, now what I meant to say is, uh, I hack up hawkers and I'm a honky. Some folks try to call me the N-word, and I gotta remind them, yeah, I am a cracker, I am a honky, and I'm, I wouldn't say I'm proud of it, and I guess I'm proud of it, sure, whatever. You should be happy with what you are, no matter what you are. Unless you're a faggot ass bitch, and that has nothing to do with sexual orientation. See, a straight man that slays pussy left and right can actually be a faggot ass bitch, like uh, James, aka Frankie Artis.
he is a faggot ass bitch and his last girlfriend was pretty goddamn sexy if i do say so myself but when you're in charge of people's sobriety and recovery and you ain't living by the code and that code has 12 steps if you're profiting off them 12 steps you practice them 12 steps I know Jay Thomas can come off as a douchebag sometimes, but hey, he cares about his people and he lives by the code, goddammit. I had Christmas dinner with uh, old Jay Thomas and he will not rest from his job so much so that he saw me kind of taking a little cat nap uh, when he arrived at said destination where we stuffed our faces. Uh, he tried to recruit me. Uh, he wasn't going to recruit me into an institution. And then he started talking about meetings. And I believe, you know, meetings ain't for everyone. At least like how, uh, oh shit, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Now, I don't believe them meetings is a cure-all. Some people get triggered by that. Some people can go into a meeting sober as fuck and come out wanting to get spun six ways from Saturday. Because basically all you do is like go around the room talking about like, oh shit, like I used to get so fucked up and like then I got caught and then I had to quit getting fucked up and like I gotta lie and say I don't want to get fucked up but I really kind of do want to get fucked up and maybe sometimes I do get fucked up. Hypocrisy. So, I always thought like the meetings where they're, where they're around a campfire or they go out hiking or something, that's always a little bit better. It's always just a little bit better because there's something to do, something to take your mind off of. Something productive, something interacting socially, big words, multisyllables. Oh, shit. These people think I'm crazy, and they're probably right. I've been wearing the same goddamn shirt for like 10 days and it's starting to smell like armpit. And I got a couple shirts stashed up in this fella's shack, right? But he said if I came there uninterrupted, I mean uh, un unannounced, that he would blow the back of my skull away and my brains would splatter on the ground and walls. So um, I'm, I'm gonna take him on his word, you know? I'm a, I'm not I'm not going to uh I'm not going to uh try to prove him wrong. You know, he said he would, so I'll take him at his word. You know, he 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 might shoot me in the head if I'm back there and he don't know I'm back there. Shoot first, ask questions last. That's how most of these so-called gangsters pass, right? Biggie Smalls. So yeah, um, I, uh, I mean, ain't this like a pretty little town? And that's about it. That's, that's about all Lawrenceburg is. It's a casino in this little downtown district. Uh, some side streets with some residential housing. It's not a lot to this town, but goddamn, look at this shit. Holy fuck. Pretty impressive for a town with 5,000 people, huh? Goddamn. Look at that nautical clock. Ain't that some dope shit? And them blue thingies. It's all trippy. Ugh, fuck. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm kind of fucking tired. No semis, only permanents. Shit. I ain't riding this fucking. That's stupid. Walk it up. I'm sure you find folks uh, every now and again uh, catch me breaking character. 
it's because I'm wore the fuck out. Anybody who says homeless people is a bunch of lazy motherfuckers is uh, evidently not been in a position to where they had to struggle for meals. Whew. All right, I'm done with that hill. Oh, this reminds me of Oasis on, or no, Whistles on the Water. Or the Irish Police Department tased that man in the Ohio River and killed him. That was a sad day. I think his name was Brad Rowe. Poor guy. How you gonna tase a man in a fucking body of water? Like, what harm is he gonna do? It's just like Arnton, man. It's, cra it's pretty crazy. They ain't got them blue lights in the middle, but you know, they got these big lights up top that actually work. Now I do miss them blue lights on Arton, Ohio's river walk or river cruise, trail, whatever. That was some trippy shit. I felt like I was Sonic the Hedgehog collecting rings of gold coins. Or whatever. Gold rings. The coins is Mario Brothers and mushrooms. Oh shit. You wouldn't believe the response I get from folks when I just start talking like this. I come up like dressed all wiggerish and shit, listening to hip hop. And then I turn my music off and I talk like this, like I'm just a good old boy from West by Guy, Virginia. Even though I'm from Martin, Ohio. Go Marshall. My daddy taught a Marshall. Fuck. There's an apartment complex where the district attorney lives. His wife lives in Arton, Ohio. They got some labradoodles. Oh, shit. I'm going to go down here and check out this blessing box. They got one. They got one. And assholes get all fucking bitch made about like what might not be in it what might have been in it and who got it and then they tear off the fucking door and spray mustard on the inside and on the clothes and just ruin it for everyone to the point they might have to just like have zero like take your bitch asses to aurora it's a town over you can use the bike trail like they said at the heart house you know just just get to walking on 50. You can't stay here, but you'll get to where you're going if you just like start walking your happy ass on 50. Like kind of like they told me, even though like I left to like get medical treatment. Uh, that, that was a confusing day. I guess when someone comes in, an outsider comes in and raises the standard of quality and bust their ass to improve conditions just because I am there and I want it to be nice for me and I want it to be nice for other people. I guess they want to be lazy fucks that live in scum and uh, figure out a way to basically throw me under the bus. Hey, that little bitch boy who had the weed pen up in there, fucking like I did not knock you out. You knocked yourself out, you dumbass. You didn't know I was a caretaker, you idiot. I mean, he should have just given me the wheat pen, and I'd probably still be there. Not know anything about this town called Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Whew. Here's a Delta 8 pen, by the way. Because we got to abide by regulations set forth by the state of Indiana and the county of Dearborn. Delta 8's legal. Marijuana is not. Not even medicinal. And Kratom is illegal. You believe that? You can't get Kratom in the state of Indiana. I mean, you could, but you're not supposed to have it. Which you're not supposed to shake your Peter more than twice after you piss, but I usually do it uh, about three times. Oh, I got 10% of my battery. Oh, fuck. We'll check out this blessing box. Put it on all YouTube.
see you fine folks in Arnton. That's one thing I got to say about Arnton. Uh, people, people ain't going hungry in Arnton. The only reason people going hungry in Arnton is basically, uh, there ain't no reason. And yeah, people got a problem, like, kind of like it, you know, maybe it's, see, hold up. Just got to lift it up a little bit and push it in there. Ain't no problem. Nice and sturdy on the latches. Uh-huh. So what we got in here? We got some fucking... Okay. All jokes aside. Do not put open bags in a blessing box. No. I'm not touching that. Fuck that. So we got some diced tomatoes, some tomato soup, some butternut squash, and an open bag of pretzels that probably has poison in it. Because these people don't really want homeless people around. And some raisins. Fuck yeah. And a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take some tampons. No, these ain't tampons. These is fucking, what are they called? Uh, shit, what are these fuckers called? I can't remember. Maxi pads or whatever. They got wings. I'm going to take one because I'm a pussy ass bitch. It's menstruating with my faggot ass. Yep. Oh, we got this thing here. It's supposed to go in the car, but I think it'll go in my tent. Hell yeah. That'd be pretty nice, you know. Well, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Now let's get this. Got to shove it in, all right, and lift up a little bit, and it gets up on that latch, and it's locked. These are all sturdy. That's all sturdy. Ain't no door ripped off. Hell yeah. And I got me some fucking maxi pads for my fucking bitch ass. Yeah, maybe that bag was filled. Maybe people was just confused, but you do not want open containers in a blessing box. It'd be real easy for people. I, I'm just going to leave it at that. And I ain't taking that bag. I ain't throwing it away. But I definitely ain't eating nothing from it. I ate uh, cereal from an open bag in a blessing box in Arton, Ohio, right? Uh, and over a three or four day period, I lost about 10 pounds of water weight because I could not stop shitting diarrhea. It was something awful, let me tell you. So never, 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 never eat out of open containers in a blessing box. Never put open containers in a blessing box. That's just, uh, it's not a good idea. It's not a good time. All right, folks, see you later.